Hey there. Welcome to the Old South Side neighborhood in Indianapolis, Indiana. This video was made by students from the Anthropology Department at IUPUI in collaboration with community residents as part of a larger project, including a website. Look for the link to this website in the video description. Whether you are a new resident, just a visitor, or even a long-term denizen of the area, this video tour will show you a few highlights in this vibrant community, possibly even some hidden gems you weren't aware of. Here's the area we'll be touring today. We're going to start in the north part of the neighborhood. First up, historic Babe Denny Park at 900 Michael Street. Formerly known as Michael Street Park, it was later named after Edward Bay Babe Denny, a famous police officer known to be one of the first black motorcycle officers in the city who was from this neighborhood. This is where the old Southside neighborhood's annual picnic is held, every year on the first Saturday in August. In the late 80s, the city almost reclaimed the park for other use, but the neighborhood banded together to save this space. There are many stories of resilience in this community. Next up on our tour is Midway Alley, very close to Babe Denny Park. Traveling just a few blocks east from the park on Wyoming Street, you may be a bit confused when you get to Church Street and you see this. The street narrows, sort of dead ends, and jogs over into a small alleyway. This patch of pavement on the west side of the I-70 ramp, and this one on the east side, are all that's left of a community landmark known as Midway Alley. In an excerpt from the Neighborhood of Saturday's book from a previous class, Beverly Miller, a long-term resident of the area, recalls, We didn't go beyond Midway Alley until we went to middle school. A lot of romances got started there, also some fights. Everyone used it, and everyone knew where it was. It was a popular meeting place and a pathway that connected different parts of the neighborhood. Speaking of pathways that connect different parts of the neighborhood, next up on the tour is the Path Under the Highway. This one is hard to find, as it's not on Google Maps, even if you use walking directions, and you might miss it on satellite view. Bloop! There we go. Remember where Midway Alley began at Wyoming and Church Street? Take a ride on Church Street, and follow the curve around onto Ray Street, stopping to admire this beautiful work of public art next to Bethesda Baptist Church. You'll find yourself at the corner of Ray and Senate, and facing south, you'll see the path on the left. Let's check it out. The neighborhood residents had to fight to have this pathway put in so they could still see their friends and family on the other side of the highway. You may ask, why is this so significant? Dr. Susan Hyatt, the professor for the IEPY anthropology course this video came out of, says in an Indy Star write-up, There's a connection in that if you look nationally at where interstate highways have been placed and the way they ran through cities and divided them up, you can see most of the interstates were put in neighborhoods that were red on the HOLC maps. Those were the poorest neighborhoods and the most unlikely to be able to mount an effective resistance. The practice of redlining, then, is a big reason why I-70 tore through this neighborhood dividing it and displacing dozens of families while destroying homes and businesses. As you walk this path under the highway, please remember the people who carried out their day-to-day -day lives right here in this very space. Here we see a satellite view of the neighborhood from back in the day with the plans for I-70 overlaid, just to give you an idea of how much was lost. In the words of residents of the old Southside community, these places are not gone. They are under the highway. Putting it this way means the memories tied to these community assets never die. For more information about the businesses and homes under the highway, please see the website linked in the description of the video. And by the way, if you found this video hosted on that very website, please be sure to go back after you finish watching to learn more and Maybe take a break from listening to me talk. Next up, we'll move to the area just east of the Concord Center and Kelly Park to take a stroll down the street and show you a different side of the Old South Side.
Walking south on Union Street, you can see Sacred Heart Church. Again, check out our website for more info. One of the residents insisted that we include this part of the neighborhood in the video. She wanted to show folks that despite the highway and all the changes over the years, people still live here. In fact, thanks to their hard work, the residents of this community, in partnership with the Old Southside Neighborhood Association, together secured a Lift Indy grant. Thanks to this grant, new affordable homes are being built in the area to attract new residents. Maybe one of them will be you. There are currently six homes planned, five of which are already standing. They're nearby, so let's go have a look. From north to south, here they are. The first one is at 1226 South Talbot Street. And another at 1437 South Talbot Street. The next is at 1725 South Meridian Street. And right around the corner, we find one at 20 Iowa Street. There's one more at 1814 South Delaware Street. And the last one will be built here at 1909 South Talbot Street. You can learn more about these homes at inhp.org. Now for the last stop on our tour, let's get back to the other map first. There we go. And let's see what's at that last check mark near the bottom of the map there. This one can be hard to find too. Turn onto Schiller Street from Meridian, go two blocks east to Pennsylvania, and then take a left. You'll find yourself at the entrance to the old Southside Armory at 2015 South Pennsylvania Street. While it may not look like much more than a parking lot and a set of warehouses, the Southside Armory was located in a multi-use space, including warehousing, machine shops, a National Guard armory, and a venue space that hosted concerts, dances, wrestling matches, basketball games, and more. Believe it or not, behind these very doors, Folks watched performances by the likes of B.B. King, Ike and Tina Turner, Sam Cooke, and Ray Charles, among others. How cool is it that they came to this place, tucked away in the old Southside neighborhood of Indianapolis? Well, this concludes our tour. We hope you enjoyed learning a bit about this neighborhood. As you can see, it has a lot to offer. Historical buildings, public art, cool pathways over, under, and around obstacles and streets and really so much more than you can see in a 10 minute video. We hope you'll continue to explore this amazing community. Thanks for visiting the Old Southside Neighborhood.